Well, as you can see, I'm getting my grill all ready to go. I love cooking on the grill. If you love grilling, smash that like button and let me know in the comment section below, what's your favorite thing to cook on the grill? I love cooking duck, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you one of my favorites. You don't wanna miss this one, guys. Grilled duck and pineapple kebabs. I'm Joel Strickland, and this is Surviving Duck Season. Surviving Duck Season is presented by Mojo and High and Dry Waiters. Hey everyone, today I'm in my kitchen and I have another fantastic appetizer that I'm gonna share with you. Now I've been doing this one for years and it's always a big hit. Pineapple duck kebabs. Now this one is one of my favorites and it's been quite a while since I've made it. So I'm really looking forward to it. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with these cubed up duck breasts. These are mallards. I'll cut it just like this and then I'll turn it like this and then cut them into cubes. Just like that. So with the cubed up ducks, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to put together a basting slash marinade that I'm gonna use for the ducks. It's really not much of a marinade because it's only gonna sit in it for maybe 20 minutes before it goes on the grill, but it's really more of a basting sauce. So I took an onion, chopped it up. It's, uh, this is about a half an onion, a pretty good size onion. Make about a cup. We're gonna put it here into the, uh, the Ninja food processor. A third of a cup of tamari soy sauce. Now, tamari is a, a much richer uh, soy sauce. We're gonna put that in here as well. It's a much richer soy sauce. Uh, you could use soy sauce if that's all you had, but I promise you, if you can get your hands on the tamari, it's definitely better uh, for this dish. Uh, you can get it at most grocery stores. I'll show you. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, you know, tamari soy sauce. Then we're also going to add a third of a cup of white sugar right here. One tablespoon of regular all-purpose flour. Okay. Boom. I've got some minced garlic in a jar right here, but uh, if you if you've got you know cloves of garlic, you can use two cloves of garlic or one teaspoon of the minced garlic. And so, teaspoon, not tablespoon. Okay. And now I've also got about a cup of uh, vegetable oil. A lot of times uh, I like to use olive oil, but not with this particular dish. Um, olive oil will definitely change the flavor of the uh, marinade. And so I like to use something that has almost no flavor. So this vegetable oil or canola oil is really what you want to use. Put our lid on and then we'll just kind of pulverize it. That was pretty cool, wasn't it, Hadley? Lastly, I've got some sesame seeds right here, and I need a couple of tablespoons of that, um, and I'm going to toast them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the cooktop going here. I'm gonna put two tablespoons in this hot pan. Now, I'm not gonna use any, any uh, oil or anything. It's just gonna toast really quick. And uh, you gotta be careful. You just want them to kind of turn colors a little bit and then get them off the heat. And so we'll just kind of, it's just going to be a nice kind of golden color. You can already see that it's changing colors a little bit. Oh yeah. And the, the aroma is really, really nice. I'm not going to speed this footage up because I want you all to see how fast this happens. See how it's kind of changing colors. And so what I'll do as soon as it gets to the right yeah, it's starting to pop almost like popcorn. You gotta be careful with it. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat off because it will cook if you leave it in there. Even though, you know, because the pan is hot. As soon as they get all to the right color, I'm gonna dump it right into my marinate mix. Okay, that's about right. Now we're gonna dump them in. 
That'll kind of stop the cooking process. Okay, there we go. So now that we have the duck cubed up, we have the basting uh, marinate ready to go. I'm gonna take these uh, duck cubes and put them in here and then we're going to just pour. I've got just a little bit that I've kind of reserved right here so that I can baste with it. One thing that works really great with duck is pineapple and I happen to have a whole pineapple and you can of course use uh, pineapple from a can but uh, I'm going to show you real quick what to do with a pineapple if you've never you know gotten a whole pineapple because I promise you uh, a, a fresh pineapple is absolutely fantastic if you um, go to the store and get one so so we'll cut the top of the pineapple off and then the bottom of the pineapple you can hear Hadley talking in the background. Okay. You want some pineapple? Yes. Okay. Yummy. Okay. So we're gonna just cut right down the middle. Now pineapple, if you get the, the, the sliced pineapple, it's got you know a great big chunk like this with a hole down the middle. That's because of the core which is this right here. And so what I've done is I've cut it in wedges and then I can just uh, kind of fillet that out when I get it all the way down to the, uh, to the smallest, you know, I basically have it in, in eighths, uh, wedges in eighths. Now, sometimes you'll get a little piece that, that looks dark like that. That's a bad spot. I just cut that out and don't eat it. Um, but then we'll take and just go right down this right here. You want, you want to, to kind of stay as close to the edge of the core as you can um, because that way you got as much of the good meat, you know, the, the core just is tough and it doesn't quite taste as, you know, as nice as the uh, other part. Now then, then you have the, uh, the outside part right here, the rind, and you just kind of fillet it off the side just like this. Stay as close as you can to the side so you save as much of the good meat as you can. Now remember this, this bad spot, we're just gonna cut that out. And I always love to uh, taste the first piece of pineapple. Mm. Oh yeah, that's excellent. Occasionally you get one that's not that sweet <clears throat> and that's too bad. You can always add a little bit of sugar to it if you're gonna use it in cooking. And then we'll just kind of cut these up in chunks, just like that. And then that way we can skewer these on. So now let me show you what I do. I've got these metal skewers and I've got my pineapple right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a piece of pineapple, run it all the way to the back. And then we're just gonna kind of alternate pineapple, duck, And I'm telling you what, this is going to be so good. What you talking about? You know, the pineapple grilled, if you've never had it, is by itself is a, is a treat. On here. All right, time to get them to the grill. We're going to put the skewers right across there. As you can see, I have some other meat on the grill too. It's duck. And that was for a video that I did several weeks ago, two easy duck appetizers. If you missed that one, make sure you go check it out. All right, now I'll close the lid. So we can start getting hot inside. This is not gonna cook real long. I mean, we're, we're wanting everything to be medium rare to medium. Um, so like I said, it's not gonna take long to cook all this. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got. It's only been cooking for just a couple minutes. I'm gonna check, let me use my grill mitts here to help me flip it. 
Oh yeah, baby. That looks great. Make sure that it all, sometimes they don't turn right. So you gotta make sure that they gets both sides. Okay, so we forgot to shoot the video of basting. So make sure you baste right after you flip them. Let it sit for another minute. Well, my kebabs I know are gonna be done, so I'm pulling them off. And there we go. All right, and that one's done. So we're gonna put the kebabs right here. It's a little hot. All right, and that looks really nice. All right, I'm gonna taste one of these because I've been looking forward to this all day. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Mm. Y'all have got to try this. That is so good. All right, we'll put that there. You could also serve this as a meal, just you know, over white rice or maybe wild rice, it would be great. I really hope that y'all will give this one a try. It's really easy and it tastes so great. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to us yet, please do so, so you'll get notified every time we drop a new video, which is every week. And we have lots of great content on this channel, so make sure you check it out. And we also have a few t-shirts and hoodies left, so if you haven't got yours yet, check out the link below. Until next time, I'm Joel Strickland. Good hunting and God bless.